A phrase we've heard at protests all across the country is defund the police. But what do people actually mean when they say that? Well, 10 Tampa Bay's Twilon Nguyen asked community organizers for a breakdown. She joins us with their reaction. Good morning, Twilon. Caitlin, good morning. It's a quick phrase, but it has a lot of layers. When protesters say defund the police, they're hoping it's a way to start a conversation about how policing can change in our communities. Now, I spoke to one community organizer known as Life Malcolm about what he believes defunding the police means. He says it means changing policing as we know it and the need to expand other community services. He used the city of Tampa's budget as an example, saying we could reallocate some of the police department funding and put it toward economic development or other programs like mental health and homeless services. He says another form of defunding would be to take the money law enforcement gets from asset forfeiture and to use it to improve communities so the city won't need as many police officers. There are ways that we can right. begin to defund the police and allocate those resources to the community where people can uh, use them to prevent uh, the stuff that the police say they're having problems solving right now understand that we're not saying you know shut down all the resources that we have right now that you know some of the stuff that does work to keep people safe Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Chronister sent me this statement about calls for defunding the police. It reads in part, it is a sad day and a disturbing day when a city feels their police department is no longer meeting its mission to keep the community safe and announces plans to do away with those officers. We all strive to be a part of the ongoing conversation in our community about how we conduct ourselves as law enforcement officers. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri said pretty much the same. That's never going to happen. It can't happen. Uh, it, it's unrealistic. And those that are you know, calling for that, you know, I hear it as political rhetoric. While both Sheriff Chronister and Sheriff Galtieri do not support the elimination of policing as they know it, they both said they were open to some changes, but were not specific on what any of those changes could be right now. I've got those full statements on our 10 Tampa Bay app for you right now. Along with defunding police departments, we're also hearing calls to disband them entirely. So let's take a deeper dive into what both terms mean. Our source is Philip McHarris, a lead research and policy associate with Yale University. He says supporters of both defunding and disbanding want the same thing, reimagining what public safety looks like. McHarris says that research shows that training in body cameras hasn't brought out the kind of change that supporters want. So. When it comes to defunding, it would mean taking money spent on equipment like body cameras and instead distributing it to people and services in underserved communities. So why go a step further and disband, disband law enforcement altogether? McCarris suggests that law and order is kept through education, jobs, and mental health services, not by law enforcement. Instead of police officers, he says first responders would be trained by mental health providers, social workers, and other community members. And then there's the question of whether both would mean an increase in violent crimes. McCarra says it's tough to say because the defunding and disbanding of police departments has not been done on a large scale. But we have seen it happen locally and around the state. Brooksville Police Department disbanded two years ago to save money. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office took over protecting the city. 